Welcome, Massimo. I'm really excited to have you here. Thank I think you. everyone in Miami is very excited to see you in our culinary scene. How do you feel? Yeah. I feel very good, you know, like uh, if I decide to be here, it's because I want to be here. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, in a point of my life uh, in which uh, I'm very lucky to say I want to be at the Refectory in Paris, uh, at the charity event in Merida, but also in Miami. So right. it's, uh, it's, the, it's the quality of the people you meet uh, in the world that is changing you and is uh, and I think is uh, we had uh, we had such such a great time with Maria uh, one year ago, and uh, you know, at the, uh, and he said, I promise, uh, once uh, I'm gonna have like some times free, I'm gonna come back in Miami, and we're gonna do something together with you, Nidal, uh, all the friends here, and I did it. So speaking of that, and because nowadays we have such a, an interest for tasting menus and all these experiences, uh, and I think a lot of people now voice their opinion through social media and they voice whatever they want to voice through pictures and such, how do you feel that your menu or what you bring is for so many different palates and expectations? Yeah. You know, this is a very important question and very good question because uh, sometimes uh, people they come at the restaurant they don't have uh, the experience mm -hmm. to understand uh, all these different layers and steps that we did to arrive there right. you know and sometimes uh, you see, oops, I dropped uh, oh, the, the not, not the lemon tart, but uh, a chocolate cake. Okay. And you say, wow, uh, that's amazing idea. So coming back to Mending and Friends, which is definitely a series of dinners that a lot of us look forward yeah. to. And specifically having you here is just such an amazing moment. What do you think about the Miami culinary scene? Uh, I, um, you know, I think it's growing a lot because there are a lot of very interesting chefs come in and uh, you know open a, open a very interesting restaurant completely different mm -hmm. you know there's this all uh, um, less uh, eye hand uh, you know uh, cuisine but uh, serving great food and uh, you know make you feel uh, very comfortable at the table uh, it's, a, it's a very important uh, um, reflection and moment uh, for for the for the scene in general, you know, if if I think about my osteria, the Gucci osteria, just we just opened in Florence, it's all about that, you know. It's like, is uh, to see, you know, this kind of uh, you know experience and feel so comfortable. So I said I want to do the same thing, you know, without even push too much the high-end food. But uh, you know, um, there's a. There's, a, there's still space to grow because uh, Miami has never been a culinary scene. Absolutely it's like, agree. yeah, you know. Uh, now yeah. it's, get, it, it's moving up. It's moving, it's moving up. up. It's <laughs> so moving. one last question I have is about the experience itself with Mendin and Friends. So, how, what, what should the consumers here and all these foodie people and looking for you uh, expect of this experience? Like, is there anything that has inspired this menu? I know that we'll keep it a surprise, but is there anything in particular? No, no, there's a, there's a, you know, the man, I don't want to talk about the menu because it's a, we decide to do this menu that is almost like brand new except for one dish and, uh, you know, there's a, yeah, one, one of course, <laughs> the dessert. Let's talk okay. about the dessert. I say, the dessert is going to be better than popcorn. Oh so goodness. it's gonna be it's gonna be the experience of eating. I was thinking and matching uh, the idea of uh, five different aged parmigiano in five different texture and temperature with popcorn. Yeah. You know, so we're gonna do we're gonna you know create this dessert uh, with the uh, texture and temperature of popcorn. Yeah. Uh, you know, I am so looking forward yeah. to that. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We really love to have you with the Hungry Post. The, uh, I will ask you at some point if we can take a short video for our Instagram because of course. I'm sure waiting for you. So. Yeah. Thank you so much and of so course. nice to meet you. Ciao.